Mr. John Henson. Well, uh, we have a little lesson in advertising for you today. Uh, in advertising, it's not only important to come up with a, a quality ad, it's also uh, important to take great care in ad placement. We just opened up the paper and uh, took a look at uh, one of two ads sitting right next to each other. The first one advertises, take a look at this, Monday Night Football. Burger Madness, $5.99 burgers and $1.50 refills. Well, that, that, that sounds pretty good until you look below it at the enormous ad for topless Monday Night Football, boasting 14 video screens and after-game amateur strip-off. Yeah. Well, I think I know where I'm spending my hard-earned American dollars. Plus, uh, also in the news, the Statue of Liberty has reopened. It was closed this weekend due to water and sewage problems. I didn't, oh. didn't even know that, uh, that the Statue Whoa. of Liberty had to go. But, uh, wh wow, they need to... Yeah, they, need, they need to do a little facelift there. That, look at that oh, big old oh, ugly oh. mug. I think she's right in the middle of going to the bathroom right there. <laughs> Coming up on today's show... A Baywatch star meets the president, Coolio talks about his due, and Vicky's guest bends Teflon with his bare hands. Oh, for heaven. Wow. Wow! I, you know, I once knew a woman who could do that with her knees, but you guys don't want to know about that, do you? No, I didn't think so. First up, truthfully, I'm a little bit frightened of this love line highlight, but the producers are telling me to forge ahead, so here goes. Joe wants to minimize the psychological strain he feels each time he exposes a new lover to uh to a uh just just roll a tape please yeah i have a very large penis <laughs> well done uh, well done joe uh, uh, uh believe me if i was phoning in a show that would be what i'd start with yeah. <laughs> Great first line. i don't care if it's cnn and uh, it's an earthquake update i start with yes i have a very large penis now now to the devastation <laughs> all right well now that you've got that off your chest joe uh, what's your question well when it's erect it's about 10 inches and it's Teen this has really hurt my love life, what? my sex life, because the first time I had sex, I wound up dislocating a girl's hip, and she had to be rushed to the hospital. And I live in a real small town, and when all the other girls heard this, they got scared. And I'm a decent-looking guy and everything. I can get dates, but I can't get girls to sleep with me, because whenever they see it, they're scared. So what can I do? Joe the Destroyer. It's like, uh, look out, it's Joe, here he comes. And he's brought his penis, run! Joe, Joe, Joe. Let's say you inherit a million dollars and you have to pay taxes on it. That's not a bad thing. Look on the bright side, kiddo. Thursday on Loveline, more sex talk. Some folks will call in, some folks will appear on camera, and some will float past in glowing three-dimensional holographic clouds. It's a multimedia extravaganza Thursday. Joe, man, I tell ya, just give him an inch, he takes a yard. Recently, Montel Williams shocked his audience by announcing he had acquired a photograph of Princess Di and Dodie taken shortly after the crash that claimed both of their lives. This announcement ruffled the feathers of his guests, including a royal biographer, celebrity photographers, and a couple who had witnessed the tragedy. In this highlight, we'll see how everybody responded. If you want to see them, and if you don't want to, I'm going to tell you, these are very, very graphic pictures, so please avert you your eyes. And I'm going to show them right now. Well, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't think I can this. be a part of this. I'm awfully sorry. Uh, well, no, I don't want to okay, see this. Okay, well then, I will, I mean, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I respect what I do for my job. That's one thing. Okay. But for your show to do something like that is even worse than me taking the photo. Well, I'm sorry. Really this is where you guys take these kind of photos. Take a look it's at the news. screen. It's news. What you're doing is not news. It is news. I'm doing this because I want to take, I want to prove to the news media we can take the dollar bill out of this stuff. It's not you're the dollar bill. It's not, it's not okay, the money. Okay, well then hold I on a minute. For the money. Take, a look, take a look at the screen, right, ladies and gentlemen. This. The next picture that you will see will be the picture of Diana and Dodie in the back. See to the car. Still looking? Okay, guess what? Stop for a second. I don't have a picture. I'm lying. I'm lying through my teeth. But I will guarantee you, hold on. 
We bring our panel back because they helped me with this lie. But let me tell you the reason why I just did that. Because I said those words, and everybody sitting at home, and everybody sitting in this room, you did not take your eyes off that screen. You bought it, didn't you? You bought it. I bought it. Did you buy it? Yeah. I bought it. Later, Montel described his own run-ins with the paparazzi and how photographers had made lewd comments about his wife and used racial epithets to provoke him. Thursday, Montel will hear from guests who claim their parents have singled them out for abuse. Black sheep or scapegoat, you be the judge. That's Montel Thursday. John Tesh is a strange, strange man. Rather than appear on The Tonight Show and talk about his latest musical tour, he wants to discuss nose hairs. <laughs> Whatever. Perhaps this interest in nasal hygiene is what landed him the cover on this month's Alternative Health Digest. You think I'm making this up, don't you? Anyway, here's Tesh telling Jay Leno how he keeps his nostrils in perfect working order. One of the tips for not getting a cold is, of course, to take zinc. And zinc? And zinc and vitamin C, but also, one of the things I do is if I'm on an airplane, and you know you're in the enclosed area there, right. and really bad air, and uh, the nose hairs in your nose are supposed to stop particles and, and bacteria, but as you get older, you lose the hairs in your nose and they grow in other places. So what you do to combat, combat that stuff is you take, you take Vaseline and stuff it up your nostrils. Yeah. You stuff the Vaseline up your nostrils and then it stops the bacteria and the, and the dust particles. Now what happens when you blow your nose? You make a mess of the air. You wipe out the... <laughs> No, no, wait, wait, I understand. So you, 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 you plug your nose up with Vaseline? Right, right, right. And that stops, that stops any of the bacteria. And it produces, I mean, like three or four pound boogers, basically. <laughs> but that's, that's the, old, that's the no, only I, downside. Now, now, is this your tip? Did you get this from somebody? Did you I read make it, it up? I read it somewhere. I think I picked it up on the, on the web. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he said boogers. <laughs> In case you're wondering... Here's the best way to handle those three-pound greasy snot wads. These are John Teshus. You see? Oh, now try one. Pull one out. You see? There you are. You see? There you are. You see? Right there. Right there. Well, that'll go nicely with my Merry Heart toilet warmer. You know, it's, it's never too early to start making that Christmas wish list, Tom. Thursday on The Tonight Show, first there was the Bob Newhart Show, then there was Newhart, then Bob. You know, America's beloved comic icon is back in a show that doesn't even feature his name. It's the sitcom George and Leo. Looks like beer drinkers will have to start playing Hi George this fall. I think he's George. Still to come on Talk Soup, she's 40 and he's 16. What could they possibly have in common? Also, Coolio talks about the ancient origins of his unique hairstyle. But first, an ex-car thief relives his former glory. Now, if you look here, now watch this in a steel car stereo. Watch how simple it is from steel car stereo. 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. They meet once a year. Grizzled veterans and young upstarts. Television's primetime players. Locked in fierce battle on the pitched playing field of the Pasadena Civic Center. Competing for television's most coveted prize, Emmy Gold. Before all that, they're gonna strut their stuff. Join Joan and Melissa for all the grand entrances and graffiti-defying dresses. It's the live Emmy Awards pre-show, Sunday at 6 Eastern and Pacific, only on E. Someone's been sneaking my Milano cookies. Tim, is he capable of indulging himself the way I do? The baby. Would she know how to savor every moment? Pepperidge Farm Milano, the finest dark chocolate in perfect balance with two cookies of exquisite texture. A plumber? Could he possibly appreciate? Nah. Milano cookies from Pepperidge Farm. Treasure was meant to be discovered. of Disney. That's you! Introducing Disney Cruise Line. Imagine combining a Walt Disney World vacation with a magic voyage to our own island in the Bahamas. Call and discover uncharted magic. This fall, every nuclear weapon in the world will be accounted for, except one. The guy got away with a bomb. George Clooney, Nicole Kidman, The Peacemaker, rated R. Starts Friday, September 26th.
How long has it been since you bought a new mattress? Now you can buy America's Best Mattress, a Simmons Beauty Rest or Simmons Back Care Mattress at America's Best Value. Call 1-800-555-SIMMONS for a dealer near you. Simmons is dropping the ball. On the competition, that is. Only Simmons has Beauty Rest Pocketed Coil Springs to reduce movement and help give you undisturbed sleep. Simmons Beauty Rest, the Do Not Disturb mattress. Soap scum builds up and up and up. Pretty soon, you've got a scum situation. But now there's new Tylex Soap Scum Remover. It's so radically improved, it gets rid of soap scum in a wipe. Try new Tylex. It's the best. This portion of E is brought to you by new Tylex Soap Scum Remover. On Soap Scum, it's the best. Welcome back to Talk Soup. Those other shows just want your ratings. We want your immortal soul. I'm John Henson. <laughs> Shake John Brookfield's hand and he's liable to rip your arm clean out of its socket. That's because this Vicky guest boasts the strongest hands in the world. Up next, we're going to see old Iron Mitts perform a couple of his patented feats of strength with the strongest hands in the world! Yeah, let's see what we can do with this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the back of Lord knows what'll happen here. Oh, for heaven's sake. You know oh, that? Dear. Now, let's, what in the heck is this over here now? See, what we've got over here is uh, we've got a piece of wood, a piece of pine, and it's, uh, it's a two by six, two inches thick. Uh-huh. Yes, it okay. is. Okay. What we'll do with this, I've got a 16-penny uh, uh, nail there. Is this we'll, going to be in the way there? That's fine. Okay. I'm going to wrap this up in the cloth here, uh -huh. and we'll see if we can drive this all the way through the wood with my bare hand. Uh -huh. Oh, ow. ow. Did this okay. hurt the first time you tried it? Uh, I don't remember. It's been a while. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. It could hurt if you miss. Okay, we ready? Yeah. Oh, oh. Yikes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Let's hear it for John, everyone. Ow, ow, ow. God, that stings. <laughs> Too bad I don't have... The strongest oh, hands in the world! An interview with comedian Chris Rock on Thursday's Mickey. He slayed the Spice Girls at this year's MTV Video Music Awards. Now he's hyping the second season of his HBO series, The Chris Rock Show. Busy man. Wish I was busy. Open up the stable doors. It's time to let in a new talk show. This one features former E! Newswoman Arthel Neville. After a stint uh, hosting for the competition, some show called Extra. She's now co-anchoring a chat program with sportscaster Fred Rogan. Let me be the first one to welcome you home, Arthel. Now let's take a look at Baywatch star David Hasselhoff dropping by for the premiere episode of Arthel and Fred. My wife, actually my wife standing over there, Pamela. Miss Pamela. The lovely Pamela. The lovely Pamela, who's actually been on Baywatch as well. And, uh, but anyway, we, we met President Clinton, and, and I'm giving him the rest you can, and I'm a bit nervous, and she goes, hey, we like to jog. And I'm going, shut up, honey, shut up. <laughs> talk to a president like that. And President Clinton says, well, why don't you guys go jogging with us tomorrow? And Pam goes, ha, ha, ha. Uh -huh. oh. The next day I know, we are in the limousine with President Clinton, just six of us, and I kept knocking my head to think, is this really happening? Yeah, real. sure. And we were jogging with him, and he turned to me and he said, did you think Baywatch would ever be as big as it is. And I said, I never thought the President of the United States would ever say okay. the word Baywatch. Okay. <laughs> Are you kidding me? He's a huge fan. In fact, he likes it so much. He's even making a guest appearance this season. Whoa. Check it out. There he is, Whoa. right down there in the middle. That big, huge head of his. Good God, get a string. He's going to float away. <laughs> that is an enormous cranium. Thursday on Arthel and Fred, actor Hector Elizondo will be stopping by. The Chicago Hope star will be talking about the multiple Emmy nominations given to his acclaimed series. 
In the time it takes me to introduce this home and family highlight, an automobile will be stolen somewhere in the United States. That's right. Every 21 seconds, one of your fellow Americans becomes the victim of car theft. Up next, we're going to see what happens when a crook decides to break in and clean out a vehicle. Here's a former felon by the name of Mike showing you how it's done. Go. OK. Is that his bare hand? Oh, it's his bare hand. Now, as you can see, he's going in now. He's, ra he's rifling through the car. He's finding cell phones, anything of value. A woman's purse he finds here. He's looking inside. He's going to put all the property inside it. So when he walks away, it doesn't look conspicuous. He looks underneath the car seats because people always put stuff under their car seats all the time. He's looking for men's wallet, hey, finds another purse. Woody, was that your car? <laughs> Sorry. Now, if you look here, now watch, he's going to steal a car stereo. Watch how simple it is for him to steal a car stereo. 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. Boom. Gone. Stop the clock. 42, 42 seconds. 42 seconds. You got seconds. a cell phone, a woman's purse, and a stereo. You got it. And you also got another carry-on bag that could have been someone's laptop or some other type of property inside there. I mean, in that 40 seconds, your whole life could be gone, especially if it's, if it's your personal information, everything like that. In prison, John said he learned that stealing cars is wrong and that dancing with a 500-pound Samoan is kind of scary. <laughs> Thursday on Home and Family, change one letter, and the title reads, Get Fat with Kathy Smith. But that would kind of defeat the purpose, wouldn't it? So let's yeah. just get fit instead. Coming up your way on Talk Soup, he's a teenager and she's his mom's best friend. Can it really be love? And after the break, surprise, honey, I'm a stripper. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Some men think strong opinions are a sign of PMS. Real PMS includes headaches, cramps, bloating, which make you feel miserable. But Might All PMS helps you feel like yourself again. Opinions and all. For PMS, nothing works better than Might All PMS. Brooks Brothers' latest eyewear. Tailored in about an hour. At LensCrafters. The Brooks Brothers event. On now at LensCrafters. Budget now rents Mustang convertibles and other diversions. Budget, get out of the ordinary. Rent a convertible minivan or sport utility for just $45 a day at Budget. Check it out, check it out, huh? The lady killer has arrived. Oh, beautiful work, Michelle. Real team spirit. Pretty team. <laughs> coach, coach. Check it out. Dawson, nice tattoo. You can trade it to Miami. Ha. Uh, can I get your locker? Not going anywhere for a while. Ah! Grab a Snickers. What do you think? Definitely looking more like a fish. You like a fish? Yeah, fish. Spend this Sunday stargazing at television's brightest. Hey, how you doing? Beginning at 5 Eastern, 2 Pacific, only on E. Isn't it great knowing you can finally have a beautiful smile without the mess, bother, and expense of other methods? Now it's simple and convenient with these amazing new tooth whitening tablets called OptiWhite. Introducing OptiWhite from BioDent. Developed by dentists, OptiWhite contains the same clinically proven ingredients used by professionals. OptiWhite's mini fresh tablets are easy to use. They simply dissolve in your mouth, and in just 21 days, you could see results like these. And during this special introductory TV offer, this complete supply is available for only $19.95. My favorite thing about OptiWhite is that it works. I mean, it tastes good and it feels good on my teeth. My teeth, I noticed, were a couple of shades wider. You think it's a breath mint. OptiWhite's patented oxygenating formula effectively removes stains from tooth surfaces. And if you call now, we'll help you keep that beautiful new smile with a free tube of OptiWhite toothpaste, both for only $19.95. Start using OptiWhite today. Here's how to order. Call 1-800-242-4200. Frankly, I haven't got the time to keep telling you who I am and what show you're watching, all right? Why don't you write it down somewhere? In just two weeks, Raquel and Damis are due to get hitched. But first, there's something she just has to get off of her chest. Her pasties. <laughs> oh, boy. Did I just spoil her surprise? <laughs> Sorry. Well, at least Damis is still in the dark about her true profession. 
Let's see how he takes the news when she comes clean about her kinky little secret on Jerry. Oh, I love you, Paul. Oh. Oh. Let's say it. What? What? When I first met you, I told you that I worked in the convalescent home and that I was a medical nurse. I didn't think that we were going to kick it this long. I didn't think we were going to fall in love. But I do love you, and I don't want to marry you. But I have to come clean with something. Okay, you know how late at night I get calls really late? Well, when they call me, they call me to dance. I'm really an exotic... <laughs> I'm really an exotic dancer. Come on, Raquel. Isn't there anything you can say to Damus to make him feel better? I do it for a living. No one touches me. I'm there. I make my money. It's a job to me. It's just like typing. <laughs> She's right. You know, it's, uh, it's exactly like typing, really, when you think about it. Like, oh, oh, boy. Oh, 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 oh. I want you to take a memo. Oh, boy. Wow. All right. Thursday on Jerry, was it? All right. Okay. Thursday on Jerry, was it an affair or... All right, I said. Was it an affair or assault? Heidi says her co-worker Joe forced himself upon her, but Joe's wife suspects the two of them were having an extramarital fling. Through the years, musicians have sported a variety of strange hairstyles. For Beethoven, it was that crazed mop-top look. For Bach, a jet-white powdered wig. And for Coolio, upright braids. In this Keenan highlight, rap's most eye-catching icon discusses the look that made him a household name. Now, your hair's a little tame tonight. But that's, that's sort of what? become your, your signature, is your, is your hairstyle. And... Well, you know, um, I can't be like everybody else, you know. <laughs> the fade played out. Um, the flat top played out. Um... So you went for the Medusa. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Check this out. My hair was like this short when I first started braiding it. And mm -hmm. as it grew, you know, hair usually grows and then they go like that. But mine kind of just... <laughs> So I just left it like that. Right. Like, all right, what I would do, I would braid it down, right? Mm -hmm. And then three days, it'd be standing up. Stand so it up. I was like, all right, let's just braid it up. <laughs> and it's working. Let's see what happened. It, well, just, it worked out. But you know what? Look, I saw a documentary on um, the Learning Channel. I saw these African ladies. Like, they were showing, like, these tribal, these tribal dances, and they had their hair like mine. So actually, the style's probably centuries old. Right, know? right. Yeah, well. <laughs> it's true. In fact, I think the Mesopotamians invented Dippity-Doo. As a child, Coolio used to play the guitar and sing songs that sounded country, so his friends dubbed him Coolio Iglesias, and that's how he got his name. All right. All right. Thursday on Keenan, don't get upset if they misbehave. After all, they're naughty by nature. They can't behave themselves. We'll be back with one last highlight. This one involves a 40-year-old woman and a 16-year-old boy she's fallen in love with. Oh, my God. Hi, I'm Suzanne Seno with an entertainment news break. A collector attempts to profit from the death of Princess Diana. He's hoping to sell one of her dresses for ten times what he paid. Plain fashion designer Johnny Versace is honored at the Museum of Art in New York. Fashion titans pay respects at a memorial service. And Oprah isn't the highest paid entertainer anymore. Even Spielberg directs his way to the top of Forbes' best paid list with over $300 million a year. For the latest in entertainment news, check out E! News Daily at 6 p.m. Eastern and Pacific. You really want a cellular phone, but you're afraid of the service plans, activation, the true cost. So you go back and forth. Don't do that. Come into Radio Shack. We'll patiently explain everything you need to know about going cellular. You'll see that not only are cellular phones nothing to be afraid of, they're actually quite friendly. Radio Shack. You've got questions, we've got answers. Activate now and get a Nokia phone with a car lighter adapter for $9.99. Claritin. 
Escape the limitations of seasonal allergies. Blue sky smiling at me. Only one tablet means 24-hour non-drowsy seasonal allergy relief. Claritin, the number one prescription antihistamine for ages six years and over. Claritin has a low occurrence of side effects, including headache, drowsiness, fatigue, and dry mouth. All were similar to sugar pill. To learn more, ask your doctor or pharmacist. Call 1-800-CLARITIN. I'm Roger Soddy. I work at Post Cereals. That's my dad. Been making the Bisco Shredder Wheat for the past 20 years. <laughs> I know a lot of you think you've got to be my age before you get into shredded wheat. Well, my two daughters don't see it that way. We love it. And they're not just saying that to make me feel good. Now, Amy likes that it it's just wholesome wheat. We don't doctor it up with sugar or salt. And Jennifer says shredded wheat's about as simple as those bottles of water everyone's carrying around. They call it trendy. Imagine that, a shredded wheat trend. Of all their delicate parts, tender, sensitive spots. One of the tenderest sits in a diaper all day long. While the wipe may feel soft here, you may want a gentler wipe here. Pampers Baby Fresh are clinically shown to be gentler, quilted thick, without all the coarse bits in the other leading brand. So clean with a touch just as gentle as your own. Pampers Baby Fresh. Bathe your baby in gentleness. On Mondays, the Wilsons always wore blue. On Tuesdays, they always played Pinochle. And on Thursdays, they always ate Chef Boyardee ravioli. Until one Thursday, a can of Superiori ravioli accidentally dropped into Mrs. Wilson's bag. Mm. Superiori had a redder sauce, firmer pasta, and plumper ravioli. In fact, it's the taste people prefer. They love the taste so much, they now eat it on Fridays wearing checks. Superiori from Franco-American. It's not what you're used to. It's better. Now available in family size. Hello, I'm Tony Dancer, and, and this is my hundred of you. And we are watching. <laughs> Bucking for a Section 8, this is Talk Soup. I'm John Henson. Recently, Sally reminisced about some of the most memorable couples featured on her show. 16-year-old Brian and his 40-year-old sweetie Megan certainly belong in that category. These two met through a mutual acquaintance, Brian's mom. She's a close friend of Megan's. What's more, she approves of the match. Here's Sally with more. Your 16-year-old is having sex with a 40-year-old woman in the bedroom next to yours. <laughs> and you're okay with that? Can you explain it to me? Yes, very definitely, Sally. Uh, my son's very mature for his age. <laughs> Megan, how did the relationship between you and Brian get started? Uh, it started um, as friendship, and then as we would watch TV or watch our favorite shows, wrestling, and we just found that we started having more and more in common. <laughs> yeah, wrestling. What do you two have in common? Um, we like the same kind of music. We like to go uh, down to the beach. Uh, we go to the movies. We like a lot of the same movies. We um, go to the arcade and play air hockey. You both like watching wrestling and playing air hockey. Well, you do have a lot in common. Thursday on Sally, shocking secrets revealed. See what happens when a young man tells his mom he's been working as a gay stripper. Hey, at least he's not working at cable. Tomorrow on Talk Soup. Lesbians in handcuffs. I want you once a week. Oh. I want you once a week. Wow. And I, I, I think you're snazzy. You're a cool person. I like you. You know, it's nice to see D. Snyder is still getting dates. <laughs> Catch you later, Supophiles.